Did you know that eating too much sugar can actually affect your sleep? That's right, you may not sleep as well if you eat too much sugar, but that's not all. There's plenty of other ways that eating too much sugar can affect our health. That's just one of them. I've got 11 in total. I'm gonna give them all to you guys. I'm Dr. Jen Cottle. I'm a practicing family physician and on-air health expert and video creator. Um, by the way, let's talk about some of the foods that has a lot of sugar in it. Of course, you guys know cakes and cookies and candies and things like that, but you may not have guessed it. Uh, foods like soups, breads, uh, I got a list, cured meats, believe it or not, ketchup can have a decent amount of sugar in it. That's right. So um, you gotta know this, and eating too much sugar can wreak havoc on our bodies. Okay, first way we talked about was uh, it can affect your sleep. Number two, believe it or not, it can increase your risk for gout. Who knew? But yes, it can. Number three is that eating too much sugar can increase your risk for fatty liver disease. Now, I actually did a whole video on fatty liver disease. Just make sure you search that if you're not sure what it is. But yes, eating too much sugar can affect this risk for fatty liver disease. This is definitely something we do not want, okay? Uh, number four, and this is something none of us wants, which is uh, we, we don't, none of us wants to age prematurely. But believe it or not, eating too much sugar can contribute to signs of aging. I know y'all don't want that. So what's the name of the game here is cutting back on our sugar intake. This is something that's really important for all of us to do because guys, sugar is honestly, it feels like it's everywhere. Uh, okay, number, I see here, we talked about poor sleep, okay? Uh, number five, let's go to something that my dentist friends would be very, very happy with, which is talking about cavities, right? Of course, we know that eating too much sugar increases our risk for cavities, we don't want that. Um, number, let's see here, number six. Let's see, two, four, okay, yes, <laughs> number six. Uh, it can actually increase our risk for high cholesterol. And this goes along with number seven, which it also can increase our risk for high blood pressure, believe it or not. You may not think of high blood pressure and cholesterol as being in the sugar uh, group, like meaning being affected by too much sugar. Oh, but it can be, okay? Uh, and then, of course, number eight is very, I know this makes sense to you, which is increases our risk for diabetes, right? Uh, diabetes is a condition where sugar is not managed properly for, you know, problems with insulin, et cetera, et cetera. So that is very, very important to keep in mind. Um, all right, moving on to number nine. You know, I feel like sugar can kind of mess with our heads, right? Do you ever find that when you eat too much sugar, you crave sugar? Like maybe the more sugar you eat, the more you crave. I don't know if you feel like that, but sometimes I do. And I think that's actually a real thing. Um, number 10, heart disease. Yeah, this kind of goes into the um, cholesterol, blood pressure, diabetes bunch, like, yeah, your risk for heart disease can absolutely be increased by eating too much sugar. Um, and the last one, which I think is something that is self-explanatory in a way, we all kind of know this is, you know, look, eating too much sugar is simply going to cause us to gain weight. And that's not ideal because we know obesity is a risk factor for so many different conditions, a number of them that I actually mentioned already here. Guys, I hope this is helpful. Please let me know if you learned something. Uh, please let me know uh, what you do to try to minimize the sugar in your diet. What you write might just help someone else. I'm Dr. Jen Cottle. By the way, if you've not liked and followed my page, I invite you to do so. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen. I'll see you soon.